All right, so let's let's do it. See what we can do here. So I need to make the Evaldi armor, and then I need to upgrade the Evaldi armor. So let's see what I need. Also, do I need the rusted armor to make this? Oh, we have nine of it. I guess we we have enough of Evaldi's rusted armor to make all of Evaldi's rusted armor. That's what it's trying to do for me. Okay. So then I have to decide what exactly I value the most. None of these affect cooldown? So it's looking like the Curious of the Endless Mist is kind of what I want, because it doesn't have that much of a reduction except for to Vitality. Whereas everything else like this, 42 to Vitality, that is intense. But it does give us more runic damage, so that's, I guess, the cost difference. But you know what? This armor looks cooler, <laughs> so I'm taking it. Okay. How much does it cost to upgrade the chest armor? You need 2,500 mist echoes and then five haze weave. Jesus. I'm just thinking about all the haze weave I'm going to need for the other armor. Which is, I need two more, but... What about for the waist armor? Probably need three for that as well, just assuming they have pretty similar uh, requirements. Yeesh. Well, let's see, what, do I, what am I wearing right now? Okay. Uh, I guess I could go for... The War Belt of the Cursed Mist. Obviously, the War Belt of the Endless Mist is... Matching with the chest, but... This gives me more runic damage as its base. And runic damage might be the only way I'm really gonna get through this, because just runic damage affecting my runic abilities will be great. But I do lose out on a huge chunk of vitality with it as well, and so, uh, I'd rather live through all of it. Oh, I don't even have the resources. I need to find ally. Shit. Don't let the Draugr get you. Uh. All right, we're just gonna have to keep running in here, gathering mist echoes. Until I can actually upgrade these armors enough. I need the haze weave and the Niflheim alloy too. Watch your back. Uh, what are you doing, game? I'm pressing right on the anim- <laughs> I don't have my fucking axe, that's why. Okay. Sorry, I'm fucking sitting here spamming my runic attack and it wasn't- Or not my runic attack, I was spamming right on the d-pad. To try and bring my axe back. Oh, I pinned him into a wall. Not the intention, but fine. Left my axe way the fuck out here. Jeez. Does it just keep stacking how much mist echoes I'm getting from these? Nah. It just depends on the chest. Okay. Because I got really excited. I'm like, okay, if that one gave me 298, this might not take that long. I was wrong. So that's a mean chest. So let's see what happens if we go to the right side. Because we know the the Valkyrie's to the left, I think. Right? Yep, she's still on there. Hilder. That's terrifying. And I don't think I can fight her just yet. Or I could take the risk. Oh, great.
Well, that did a whole lot of fucking nothing. She's so close to death. I'm not ready. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh shit, that's gonna get me killed. Fuck. Where did the witch go? Did she die to the saw blades? On her own? Because I'm down. I'm down for that. I really, really am. Okay, more Niflheim ally. See, the problem is I need Haze Weave too, so, uh. Whew. I gotta keep going until I get at least a little bit of it. Then I can run back. You okay? Thought there'd be a chest in here. I was wrong. We got bamboozled. Where the fuck am I going? Where? Revenant's the main focus. Please leave me alone! Ah. Okay, I gotta use this, my, my, my Spartan Rage because I have to run back and this place is not gonna look out for me in that regard. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, here we go. Watch him be like one hit away from fucking death, too. Yeah, fucking hate dark elves, dude. All the flying around and blinding you and shit. Ugh. Alright, at least we got some haze weave. We can get out of here. Looks like this is the end of the area anyways. I just don't trust running through those until after their first attempt. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I realized as I got behind the blades that they might end up just hurting me. I probably could have ran through there, I just didn't trust it. Never will. Don't like the traps. Doing this for the gear. I guess I could try to just run straight to the Valkyrie. And just try and fight her there. Because I really just want the Valkyrie's armor. I really don't want to spend all my points on this shit. Seriously, be careful with those realm tears. Let's see. So I think I was gonna get the Endless Mist one, because it keeps my defense and my strength up. It also lets me keep my vitality, which is good for us, because it means I don't lose out on some of my extra abilities. Looks amazing. 
All right, and then obviously they probably want me to do wrist armor, but I need alloy for it, which I just don't have. And same thing with being able to upgrade. I need haze weave and a lot of mist echoes. At the very least, the mist echoes are pretty easy to, to get. At the point that I'm having enough mist echoes to get the haze weave for these armor, I probably have like 3,000 to 5,000. Uh, anyways. See, the thing is, I just want to go for my Valkyrie armor, because I know that's going to be my endgame armor. At least, I feel like it is. Because this, yeah, I think this, from what I can see here, this gets upgraded to 7+, plus, and that's going to get up to 8. This goes immediately to level 8 on its last level. So I guess I could use both the Avaldi armor and this wrist armor. What about Sindri stuff? Sindri's armor maxes out at 7. So, that is not what I want. It gives a lot of good stats, look at that, but... I just don't, don't need it. To wash your hands. All right, we're gonna run straight for the Valkyrie. I wanna see if I can take her out. We're gonna take some big risks running over there. Well, that's fine. We kill her, then we run back. Alright, I should be able to just run through this. And if not, oh well. Okay. It's fine with me. Bye. Alright. Let's rumble. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! She's got an unblockable range attack as well. Guard block, haha! It's all about speed here, so I'm just focusing on this fight. Oh, jeez. And then she does the unblockable one? That's not that bad. Oh, shit! Oh, God, she blinded me. That's okay! Don't worry, kiddo! We'll just use Spartan Rays to get my health back! Oh shit, I didn't grab a Resurrection Stone. I gotta beat her on my first attempt. There is no dying and coming back now, boy. It's all about the runic abilities, motherfuckers! Although not so much that one, because boy, that one is risky. Shit, I tried to use a runic ability that I didn't have just yet. It's not recharged! Oh, fuck me! No! No! Oh. oh, Jesus. I just need to kill her! Come 
Come on, just die, Hilder! Oh! That was really risky of me. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it back. Freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Oh, I mean, you are ahead on my, you know, my ass, man. I'm sorry. If I glued you to my shoulder, maybe people would notice you more. Oh, thank God. Looks like this was our last one. I lad. Onto the rope stole our Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thanur's chisel. There's a queen of yours. She is strong, yes. Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Yeah, I need to grab everything here. I, I'll read all this stuff later. Our problem is that we're currently losing out on this Echo stuff, and, uh... I don't want to sit here reading and then die on the way back, because that would be bad. Imagine going through all that effort to kill the Valkyrie, then dying on the way back and losing everything. That would suck. Whew. And of course, we didn't kill any of the enemies on the way here, so we gotta worry about that, too. Sometimes this game is a flurry of just particle effects. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. It's okay. Don't need the Spartan Rage anyways. At least this dungeon isn't like super deep from what we can tell. At least from the right side, we kind of reached what seemed like an end point to the place. Well, they kill the Dark Elves, but I just saw what looked like a chest spot. I'm not ready. Did I kill the other Dark Elf? Because I haven't been hitting him, and so far no one's attacking from behind. Oh! He's still alive. He was just a little distracted. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whew. At least these guys are easy to deal with. And yeah, there is a little chest spot here. Nice. Alright, I should probably go to Midgard and see what I can grab there. Maybe I'll even get more materials for the Valkyries? Or at least for the Valkyrie armor. That'd be pretty nice, but we'll see. Oh, hey. I have no idea how I'm supposed to unlock this. That might even be the last up thing upgrade, uh horn for my Spartan Rage, which I definitely want before we reach, like, the end game. So, gotta keep an eye out. Supposedly, the Realm Tears contain some kind of terrible secret Evaldi wanted hidden, but who knows, really? Dwarves are strange, and yes, 
I realize I'm a dwarf. Well, at least you're admitting that you're strange. Okay. So we have this armor now. What does this do? Low perk activation chance to grant unstoppable aura, preventing inter interruptions by enemy attacks on any successful hit. Eh. Uh, that's a very meh bonus, but it gives you a ton of cooldown. So that's pretty good. Use mist echoes immediately to level up to. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not fully sure if I want to use this. The problem is that there's nothing... Like, look at this. If I get this to level 7, I would prefer this armor over this, but this has a further chance of going forward and also doesn't cost that much to upgrade. Axe Pombo, what about this? As Guardian Steel. I get this to level 8. Um... Moderate perk activation chance on any successful rune kill to grant power of the Valkyrie. Versus Valkyrie's Might, which I've already upgraded once. Eh, I could probably just throw the points towards here and it would get a plus eight or get to level eight. I don't need to have two upgraded axe pommels. That makes no sense. Don't I have a, a oh, Valkyrie what, blade pommel too? Yeah, Grips of Valkyrie. Oh, I already have them fully upgraded. That's why. Uh, okay. I can do whatever you need. Hmm. <gasps> oh my. Anchor of Fog. To hide his machinations from Odin, Nivaldi crafted, crafted devices that could pull anything from Niflheim back to its home. Use with caution to open the realm tears in Niflheim. We okay then. Didn't expect to get that from my current run, but that's fine. So I'm currently running through all of the uh, all of the areas here in Niflheim to just try and grind up mist echoes because everything requires mist echoes at this point. It's actually pretty ridiculous. So. I might as well try and get through it, survive. I also need Mist Echoes in order to get the upgrade for my Leviathan Axe. So I need 5,000 Mist Echoes for that. And, uh, whoa boy. Can't afford that unless I go through Nipaha multiple times. Or just get through all of it once. Look at these guys, Jesus. I need to use my artifacts a little bit more. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Okay. I do definitely need to get out of here fast though, kid. You're right. We are running low. Oh my god, look at that. That gave me 2,000? That is incredible. Okay. That should solve what I need for the, uh, the chest I saw on my way here. And here's two lovely chests to help me get back to base even faster. Or, well, to survive my way back. Jesus. So if you can survive all of this, you can get, like, 10,000 mist echoes per run. That's pretty good. That makes things so much better. And then there's this. Meh. <laughs> so I've seen that there are multiple rune chests just kind of laying around. And, uh, that's not really useful for me. Actually. Oh, wow. Maybe it is useful to me. Maybe it's a little bit more accessible than I thought. At least for this one. All right. I thought I had to go back and readjust all the ones we had just seen. Perfect artifact for the Blight. Of the Blight, I should say. I don't need that. That one didn't really give me too much, but to be fair, we have this one right here, so that's fine, I suppose. Alright. I am able to make it all the way back, or all the way around Niflheim. Or at least this area of Niflheim with 13,000 Mist Echoes. Very, very good. I'm just gonna immediately come up here and 
grab myself an upgrade. It is the 5,000 cost chest. How much do these cost? 10,000 missed echoes. <laughs> and this one? 15,000. And 20,000. I don't think so, boy. I don't think it's worth it right now. But this one is. I looked up how to get the Chilling Mist of Niflheim, just because I didn't know exactly if I had to find it through random luck or what. Thankfully, it is, I guess, guaranteed right there. So that's all I really had to manage. So we're gonna go down, kill these enemies. I can even do an entire run again of Niflheim. I will decide how I'll do it depending on this run. Or depending on how fast I kill all the enemies in this particular area. Whew. Okay. You can clear out these areas really, really fast. Oh. Just spamming rooting attack. It's great. Do I want to get more Mist Echoes? Honestly, I should. Let's see. Sideways N. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm, I'm actually going to take a picture of this. Uh, but I should be able to remember this pretty easily because it's just so weird looking. Okay. Sideways N or left N. Uh, some weird ass symbol. And then a sideways F or a right facing F. I, I, I have bad names for all these. But yeah. I have a lot of upgrades that I want for my armor and my weapons. So I might as well grab these now before leaving. I can double dip that way. I'm probably going to save that. But we probably don't want to run back through this area anyways. We want to keep up a constant forward momentum. One interesting thing is that the area with the Valkyries actually ended up being filled up with enemies as well. So... You still have a constant flow of enemies there. There's also chests and stuff. Wolvers have, like, all of my attention. Wolvers are never allowed to live on the first encounter. They just... They just can kick my ass, and I refuse to learn how to actually fight them. Besides just sheer, overwhelming offensive power. He actually got hit by the by the saw blades. He was lasting a while there, jeez. Alright. So from what I can tell, these rune items. Oh shit. I need to I need to check the exact way that these runes are facing. Okay. Yeah, that's the correct one. These runes are kind of spaced out the same way every single time. So you can always know what you're trying to go for. We just have to be aware of that. Let's see. What kind of enchantments have I been grabbing? Let's find out. Whoops. Well, you know what? These enchantments are what are helping me level up too. I'm level 7 now, so that's good. Uh, Alright. So we got a bunch of perfect artifacts of the Blight. Any per sec- okay. Slightly increase the duration of protection against the Cursed Mist of Niflheim. Uh, ooh, high perk. Activation chance to restore some protection against the Cursed Mist of Niflheim on any successful kill. I'm grabbing that. I lose out on cooldown in comparison to some of the stuff that we just had, but that's fine. Do I have better... 
things here. Heart of the Valkyrie. I'm just looking for what we were just missing. Okay, so Tear Shard is a reduction in everything by one, except for luck. Hmm. Do I want more luck? Yes. Luck is good. 